Covering Clay County tonight, some families are worried that they won't have a place to call home by this time next week. They were first to move following this fire. Fire happened at Highland Apartments about three weeks ago. Some residents were relocated to Governor Springs Apartments thanks to a USDA grant. But now, less than 30 days after the fire, they find out they're going to be kicked out of their new homes. Channel 4's Eric Avanier joins us live to explain why this is happening. Eric. Yes, that is correct. According to a letter that was sent to those displaced residents, Governor Springs of uh, Governor uh, yeah, Springs Apartments cannot accept applicants that don't have a source of income. And those displaced residents can't go back to their previous apartment complex because there are no vacancies. Meet Zaitiera Eason and Keenan Brown. Both women lost their homes last month when their apartments were destroyed by a fire that is still under investigation. The women were temporarily relocated to Governor Springs Apartments under a 30-day lease, but now they're being kicked out. I still don't understand it. I'm trying to get to understand it, but I really don't. Before the 30 days were up, eight days later, I get a notice put on my door saying that I have to the 28th of April which will be the 30 days prior to the fire to find somewhere else to live with no help of them and no, like, nowhere to stay. This is the notice the women received. In part, it reads, we cannot accept zero income applicants and or tenants at this property. So now the women who already lost a home to fire will lose a temporary place to stay come April 28th. And I have two kids, so it's like I have to you know, find out a whole bunch of stuff. Yeah. So it's just a lot to, lot to work with right now. Yeah. I'm currently looking every place that I've applied for and have, like, reached out to to try to move. They've, um, it's more than a 30-day waiting list. Eason says she has another issue adding stress to the situation. Currently pregnant, actually. And from the stress of the fire and then getting the notice later and... Just everything happening back to back, I was actually on the verge of losing my baby. Now, the women in our story say they did not have renter's insurance. Also, uh, we did place phone calls to the manager of Governor Springs and left a message, but she has not returned our phone call. Reporting live, Eric Avenier, Channel 4, The Local Station.